It's Halloween weekend at Marshall in Huntington, West Virginia. A steady rain all day, but the sun is starting to poke through as we get closer to kick. FIU Marshall in their football costumes right now on stadium. The other side. Marshall's got a really good passing offense themselves with Grant Wells, but Rasheen Ali, another in the long line of running backs that Charles Huff has been so fortunate to have. Yeah, Rasheen Ali does a great job. He has what I call the SAT when you're when you're trying to evaluate a running back. Speed, agility, but most importantly, toughness. And as we see, we've seen the speed and the agility, but here's where the toughness comes in. To go through a guy, snatch him out of a tackle and get into the end zone. And of course, safeties, you need to get your squad up if you're going to try and tackle Rasheen Ali. A great job and has dominated, almost averaging almost 100 yards per game for this herd offense. And those 15 total touchdowns, best in the country. The other side, it's Charles Huff in his first season at Marshall. As he comes over after spending two years as associate head coach and running back coach at the University of Alabama, the 38-year-old Charles Huff. And for the first time this season, Marshall has won a coin toss, and they've deferred to the second half. Are you getting a treat on Halloween there, Noah? <laughs> the kick goes into the end zone, and it's going to be brought out by E.J. Wilson, and E.J. Wilson is brought down just shy of the 15-yard line, and now third and five. 35% success rate on third down this season. Borton Slager, he's got the time. Nice work by the offensive line. He's flushed out, and a great job by the Marshall secondary to blanket the receivers of the Panthers. And if I am... The offensive line, I'm like, man, we, we had it blocked up for you. Great job on, on blocking the three-man rush, drop eight. They figure because of the big pass play capability, Bordenslager just goes, but then he just takes. Well, second in the conference, 332 yards per game on the ground, on, in the air, and the handoff, and it's a big play right away. Rasheen Ali, the nation's leader with 15 total touchdowns, breaks a big one on first down. And this is just a great job. We could, this is a nice counter lead. They got the receiver coming in motion, so you pull your right guard to the left. Pulls it back this time, so Run tries to set up the pass, but down he goes. Kobe Cumberlander. He's got now two and a half sacks on the season. Yeah, the redshirt junior from Roswell, Georgia, just hits Lindell Hudson Jr. and get a little bit of foot slippage issues, but Cumberland's like, thank you for falling down because you gave me a straight line to the quarterback and sack. You know, when corners play off, you know, you got to sit that, th throw that pass because you know that's just as good as a run play. Got that eye candy now in the backfield with Ahmed and right up the middle is Rasheen Ali. Ali across the 40, out to the 45-yard line. A gain of 21 for Rasheen Ali. And this is what they do well. The 18-yard play, the same exact play. Officially, it was a gain of 20. So Ali's got three carries for 40 yards. Wells has all day, finds his man sitting in that zone. It's Willie Johnson out into FIU territory. And just a great job. You're talking about hitting two big plays on that counter run. Well, now you pull the guard, just have him sit there on the counter trying to suck up the linebackers. And Willie Johnson just sits deep in that zone, and Grant Wells puts it right on the money. Three receivers to the right, one to the left, and they hand the ball off to Sheldon Evans, his first carry. And he will also hustle back to the line. Sheldon Evans, the redshirt junior, his 43rd carry of the season. The bell cow has been Ali. On second and four, Evans up ahead, enough for the first down. And Richard Dames kind of comes down, makes the play on that one, but two straight plays, first down. I mean, they're just clipping off. The run game has not really been stopped. I mean, you saw the one play where it was like a one yard game, but other than that, they've been pretty consistent with this run game, and that's what Marshall is just known for. It's a hallmark. 
Ali around the outside, breaks one and sneaks into the red zone. Last week against North Texas, it was a 49-21 win. I should say two weeks ago, Marshall coming off the bye. Their first drive, three and out. On this, this afternoon, first drive, a punt, then followed by six straight touchdowns. And now Marshall getting set up to do the same here. Ali hurdles one down to about the 16-yard line. It kind of the ball gets away from him. That's the other thing, slick ball with this weather as well. A 29-yard field goal attempt is up and through for Shane Chuchi, now six for seven on the season. I remember standing next to him on a sideline once when I was in college. That was, Brian McKinney took up a lot of space. Yeah, he took. Bouncing it outside, Sean Peterson is wrapped up. Behind the line of scrimmage, Corey McCoy was the first one there. Got, got, a little, uh, got a little chippy at the end of that, but a great, great penetration up the middle when I believe that was Elijah Alston. That... Horton Slogger hangs in and has it knocked away. Micah Abraham doing a nice job on the coverage of Tyrese Chambers across the middle. And that'll force the third punt in the afternoon. And offensive line has been an issue the whole time. You see, um, you know, Hoppy Monet in the middle working on Elijah Austin. Can't quite get him, so forces the pass a little bit quicker. But Mike Abraham on the backside. Takes him down, stops all that motion. That's, that, that's the way you close, close a hole. Wells to Ali, makes a man miss. And Ali is out near that first down marker. Ball was narrowly tipped, I think, at the line of scrimmage. Let's take another look at it. Yeah, it kind of got tipped, and Rasheen Ali looked it in, caught it, and still made a move to get some forward progress. So great job to get that first down by Ali and focus to haul it in. Now he's running the football on the right side. One cut back, two. And he is out to about the 39-yard line, a gain of nine for Rasheen Ali. They're, they're solidly. They're right there in the 29 and 30s just about every game. Moving quickly, Evans dances about four or five yards on first down. You never let the players know what you're thinking, feeling, up, down, otherwise. Evans pushing his way forward, moving his legs and the line for another first down. That's what we like to call bully ball. There's an inside zone here. Look at body on body. Legs are churning. And there we go. I, I love that. Alex Mallette ends up on his backside, but guess what? He's going to take some guys with him. After all of that, Hemming and Holland was one of those things you want to take advantage of it when the team is not expecting it. But with Marshall, I'd always look out for something tricky. And Butch Davis knows it. And that's a beauty. Inside the five to the four off the foot of Robert Lefevre. He's got 50 yard pass in six of his last seven. He's got five passes of 68 plus yards and there's a great tackle on the outside. Jumping up right away, Marshall with Abraham Boplin to bring down Devontae Price. And Boplin, you could tell, was carrying Whip Price as he was running that swing. And then he lined up and just took the legs out from Price. Great play and on, his, uh, on his resume. So you wonder if the long boot's going to come out on this one. That is a boot. Wow. Sending Willie Johnson back to the 25. That one carried about 75 yards, and Willie Johnson carrying it deep on his own to about the 35-yard line. A return of nearly 40 yards for Willie Johnson off a booming punt from Tommy Heatherly. Marshall's in business as they lead 3-0. Just under 12 minutes to go here in the 
second quarter. A 29-yard field goal, the only scoring so far. I know many expected a high-scoring game. Rasheen Ali bounces it outside. And Ali picks up about five on first down. And this is where the speed, you see the line gets stopped. Rasheen Ali presses into the line, but then has a speed to make up for it, get to the edge quickly, and still make something out of nothing. Wells with all sorts of time finds Ali again. Ali with the first down across the 25-yard line for Ali now, the team's leading receiver with three receptions on the day. Now give, give him an easy plan and let him execute. Let him be at his best. And right now, Sheen Ali's just, just been chunking away at it. He's got 71 yards on the ground. There's Gamage. Gamage was not down to the turf. And Gamage stays up to get to about the six. Play until the whistle, and that's what Corey Gamage did. Do not assume. Get the guy to the ground. You know, I, I even watched that at the pro level. I mean, Washington last week, Taylor Heineke, they thought he was sacked. He spun Bring out of it and threw the ball away. The officials will look at this again. So as they look, we shall look as well. Here we go, Gamage coming over on a crossing route, catches it, gets knocked down, but nope. No, I didn't see the elbow. I just saw a I saw fingertips. So we we'll right to the yeah. three guys back there, along with the QB, but nobody was fooled there because you constrict the defense when you have that many bodies in the box. Wells pulls it. Wells walks into the end zone. His sixth rushing touchdown of the season. Punt return from Willie Johnson sets up this from Grant Wells. Not many easier than that. 10 nothing heard. Previous drive that resulted in that touchdown and it started, what a, what a punt it was. The punt traveled 70 yards. Yeah, Tommy Heavily put a lot of boot behind it, but Willie Johnson has the speed, ran a 4-3 in high school, and you saw a little bit of that on display, and then this great play, Corey Gamage, not to be denied. He didn't touch the ground and just kept going. The unsure tackling, then Grant Wells in the end. Roll out? No, just a walkout to the end zone and six. Yeah, Devontae Price has been definitely one of the bright spots if you're looking at this FIU team, and he's still running hard. Horton Slogger doing what he does best, airing it out, and he's picked. Picked off by Stephen Gilmore. Gilmore's third interception of the season. As Horton Slogger is picked off for the sixth time. And, and when we see this there, there was a bit of, Horton Slogger kind of got hit, as you see, the defense tackle kind of reaching out and kind of short arms the throw for Sporting Slogger. That's why it came up so, so short. After the One more time. I mean, still in the plus territory of FIU. All right, Marshall takes over. Restricted formation. Everybody inside the numbers. Grant Wells will keep it himself. Wells stays inbounds. And then he steps out of bounds at about the 41 yard line. Okay. They had a great decision here. You think it, bring everything tight. The defense is in tight. Grant Wells gets a little bit of, of, a, of a beat on the DN and decides, hey, you know what? I can get a couple yards, make something out of this. Rasheen Ali's not the only one that can rush. Rain continues to fall here in Huntington. Sheldon Evans to handoff. Sheldon Evans breaks through the line. Sheldon Evans is into the end zone. His third touchdown of the season, and Marshall turns the interception into a touchdown. And that shake and bake line is even better. There shake, bake for six. Sheldon Evans and Marshall, a 17-0 lead.
All right, welcome back to Jonesy Edwards Stadium. Going over this last touchdown play by Sheldon Evans. One of the things he's looking, he's looking for the zone here, and you got vision by the center and the guards. They're going to go and give you a great inside zone read, and then right there, we see a good block on the backside, and then Sheldon Evans just powers through uh, the rest of the way. You see an ankle tackle here, but Sheldon Evans, green grass. Great job by the offensive line on the inside zone. As FIU's offense has stalled just 55 yards so far. Kickoff is fielded at about the 10-yard line. And E.J. Wilson is brought down after. Take it off. Got some excitement at the zone. The squirrel's on the loose across the 25 into the red zone. The fans are on their feet. 15, 10, 5. Get on in. Get on in. You can't stop at the one and a touchdown. Give it a little prime time there, kind of going along the goal line for a second. Looking for that attention. That's got to be taunting. The squirrel started at the 40 and then made his way back, and then he was going forward, just taunting everybody. Every squirrel has his day, and he found that nut in the end zone. Marshall, a 17-0 lead, and the excitement continued into the break as Marshall's offense comes out big with Shadid Ahmed doing his best impression of that squirrel. Yeah, running a little now route out to the right and then just tight roping down the sidelines. It is getting a little squirrely out there. He's in motion there, and he gets it. Harrison across the 40, and that's going to be enough for the first down. Great job blocking on the edge by Xavier Gaines uh, to get the guy and allow for Harrison to have a two-way go. You could go either outside, but he chose to go inside and got enough for the first down. Here's Ali right up the gut. Rasheen Ali down to the 25, and this Marshall offensive line is punishing the Panthers' D-line. Yeah, this is, I mean, just a great job. When you look across the board, you have so much experience, you, you know, from the center to the left side. Ulmer, redshirt senior. Salguero, redshirt senior. Millette, redshirt senior. Then you finally get a redshirt freshman to Logan Osborne at the right guard position, and junior, of course, at tackle with uh, Sarter. Willie Johnson down to the 15. Yeah, attention hug. Yeah. Ali gets tripped up. It could have been more, but that's all he needed. Wells pulls it back, flips it out to Xavier Gaines, who lowers his shoulder. Jamal Potts knocks him out of bounds, a gain of eight. One of a handful of freshmen that have been playing a lot for FIU. Potts, a true freshman out of uh, Delray Beach, Florida. American Heritage High, school I know very well. Played against them in the playoffs when I was in high school in Florida. Wells hands off to Ali, and Ali finds the end zone for a nation's best 16th time this season. And here in the second quarter. Inside zone once again. Rasheen Ali reads it front side, carries that backer, and then sticks it. So at Economy Candy, I went down there with my wife Marissa, daughter Eden, last weekend, and they really like the sour rolls. Oh, that, 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 that's a strips. Good. Yeah, no, that's, that's another good one. And Marshall just, just punishing right now at the line of scrimmage, not really allowing for a lot of space for the run game. Last week, did not have an attempt in the loss to Western Kentucky. This one's blocked. But they called the but timeout. They called the timeout first. Marshall called the timeout. Actually, when you're setting, you have that inside leg is back, and so you kind of want to step down 
but also put your shoulder and your head down in the same area so okay. you prevent you and the guy rising to create a better angle for him to make the block. So you want to aim down and in so that guy does not have a jumping pad. From 44 for their first points, and that's blocked again. So after the timeout, the same results. Um, just about identical uh, in that block came from the same area. Right guard, right tackle gets stood up, and the hand is right there. I think that was number 90, Carpenter. Brent Wells takes the field after a 12 for 16, buck 16 first half, completing 75% of his passes. In the rushing game, 168 yards. And they've just been able to run whatever they've wanted to run on this FIU defense. And there's some more. Rasheen Ali across midfield and across the 45 to about the 43 yard line. And that's well over the century mark for Rasheen Ali. Just a great job, the offensive line just, just tussling with guys right up the middle right to the quarterback so that he could put the ball on him. Second and seven from the 14, there is Fairweather again. And nowhere to go. It's Brandon Drayton again, the redshirt junior, the communicator out there. He's played just now and just in his fourth game this season. Yeah, great throwback screen to him, but ah, you gotta duck behind, behind the tackle. Listen, big boys run out there, you know, Mike, Miles Frazier ran out there to block him. Don't go to where he's throwing the guy, go behind. Crucial one here on third and eight, and that is a terrific tackle. Kobe Cumberlander was there in a hurry. A great manager. Like he's I, taking what the defense gives him. Give him what, and then the running backs are doing everything else. Pulls it back from Ali, gives it out to Willie Johnson. And Johnson is pushed out of bounds at about the 30. You come back and run a swing to your uh, to your wide receiver on the backside. That's a Luke Zaban, the backup quarterback, who came in to take that sneak. And he did his job. And, uh, you know, Eric Mitchell making, making a big stop there. Got an opportunity here on second and 13. Ball on the 29, Wells has Willie Johnson right at that first down marker. Willie Johnson knew exactly where he needed to go. Richard freshman um, coming in and making the play for the short game. Quick out to Ahmed, Ahmed's got some speed. And he is brought down by Jackson close to the 50. Yeah, that was a test mark. And also Columbus, Ohio, number oh. one that does that. Credit to my wife, Tiffany, for letting me know about that. Full of information. Corey Gamage, plenty for the first down out to the 40 yard line. Just been a very consistent passing game for Grant Wells and Corey Camage <laughs> making everybody you know, miss. Make you, make you own, hit your own guy move, I think is what you would call that. I don't know if that's technical or not, but we're gonna go with that. Wells again up top, Xavier Gaines, big target. And Xavier Gaines has his fifth reception of the afternoon. Frostproof Florida product right there. Another area I'm very familiar with. Went to Lake Wales High School. And Xavier Gaines doing a great job with that six foot three frame to go up and high point the football. There's Ahmed again. Ahmed's got five receptions, came in with 25, so give him 30 on the season. Steady moving the line of scrimmage and moving those chains for this offense. On third and two now, plenty for that first down. Rasheen Ali straight up the middle for a gain of seven. And Rasheen Ali now approaching 130 yards on the ground. On third and two. 
It's Ali stepping into the end zone for the second time this afternoon. Got some whistles. Little extra curriculars down on the far side. Four or five games. Rashina Ali, Max, 26 carries, 133, two touchdowns. You see reeling off those two big runs in the first quarter, first two drives of the game, holding in a little bit for the receptions, but this is what he does. He puts the dot on that exclamation point when he can smell the red zone, and you see just the big plays, the speed, agility there, and the toughness. He exhibits all three of those, and it's been a hey, light work for Rasheen Ali today. Two touchdowns. If Santa enjoyed it, then so did I. Max Porton, Slogger on the first play of the fourth quarter, going deep, and it's poked away. Almost into the hands of Nazi Johnson. Uh, you don't want to further anything or you know, risk injury for him for the rest of the season. And nowhere to go there on the third and shorts. Like Asias Carpenter was the first one there to get Joseph. D. Joel, um, and obviously trying to, trying to revamp this offensive line here for the FIU Panthers. There's Harrison into the red zone again. Um, Tremendous center, good, good buddy, and you know he's the guy that's going to right that ship for that offensive line. He's got some good guys. There's the band. Wow, bounces off one, stays on his feet. That is not something you see very often from a quarterback. No, that, that's why I said the Taysom Hill type of guy. He has some speed and some moves. Goes with the dive and then the quarterback pull and then boom. Oh, if you are a DB. Can't show yourself in the, <laughs> the little boys. It's like, oh my gosh! It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna need some hugs after this one. Yeah. And off is to Payne, and he slips into the end zone for his second touchdown of his career. Ethan Payne has Marshall's lead ballooning. Stanford, Florida. That's his first pass of the season, and it's complete to Tyrese Chambers, and he lost the football, and it's picked up by Marshall. Daniel Foster. On the fumble recovery, and it has been that kind of day for FIU and that kind of day for Marshall. Caitlin Wiggins just, you know, throws a nice, nice little you know, now route, Tyrese Chambers just doesn't cover up the football, gets it stripped in the crowd. Take one more look. Good, good strip there. I couldn't even see who made it. Looked like JoJo Evans had it first. Joshua Bowers might have gotten it because they've got the bottom of the Conference USA with ODU, Middle, North Texas, and Southern Miss. And Marshall's defense still playing strong, trying to keep that zero up there. And he gets just 10 carries, 51 yards. Yeah, yeah. Keeping him below his average, but 5.4 per. That puts him at 5.1 on the day. Blitz off the right edge, and they More take, pressure. take Wiggins down. That's Daytron Smith. Yep, freshman out of Eastland Park. His first career sack. He's Highland Park, Virginia, West Virginia. A lot, a lot. You're going to need it these next couple of weeks, though. From Wiggins gets pounded as he throws it into the end zone. And on fourth and 17, hand things back over to Marshall. Something that we don't know about. But that's how the game's going to end. And let's see how this handshake goes or doesn't go. Yeah. Between Charles Huff and Butch Davis. Running three plays when thinking that it's the victory formation. Or we expected to see the victory formation following Charles Huff. Butch Davis walks and talks, having a few words. And you could tell that Butch Davis yeah. gave him an earful. He did. And he, and he said it in a way that 
You couldn't tell the emotion on his face, but Charles Huff walking away. Yeah, looking <laughs> off, looking him off as he's still talking. Great day. From Joan T. Edwards Stadium at Marshall, final score 38 0 Marshall over FIU. Next Saturday, college football doubleheader. Middle Tennessee takes on Western Kentucky at 3 30. Then UNLV in New Mexico at 7 Eastern. All begins with college kickoff live, starting everything at 3 p.m. Eastern time. For our entire stadium crew, my partner Max Stark, some Noah Koslov, happy Halloween from Huntington, West Virginia.